CBS 17's Bridget Chapman joins us live in North Hills where people cause damage to buildings in the late night hours. Now, Bridget, what does it look like there in North Hills? Well, guys, it's not nearly as bad as it is downtown, but several businesses did have to board up windows and doors out here today. And one restaurant, Stir, said that they actually broke several windows last night, went inside and stole alcohol from the bar as well. We also saw a smashed ATM down there. Now, tonight's curfew goes from 8 o'clock until 5 tomorrow morning. It requires people to stay home with the exception of medical emergencies. It restricts travel within city limits. By Violators will be charged and fined. Now, the curfew does not apply to medical professionals, public safety workers, hospital workers, military personnel, public transportation personnel, public utilities personnel, and journalists. Now, here in North Hills, they say the damage occurred between 11 o'clock last night and 1 in the morning. So they hope the curfew now in effect will curb this destruction, despite also shortening their business hours. I'm not happy with having to continually be closed. Uh, I am happy that uh, if that's what it takes to sort of quell the the looters, uh, I don't think that the the protesting um, who are doing it peacefully and, and, and seem to be effective, I don't think that this would quell them, nor do I think it needs to. In a statement, Mayor Marianne Baldwin said, by setting a curfew, my hope is that this will allow our community to pause, collect ourselves, begin to repair the damage, and turn our focus to the important work of finding connection and commonality. There are so many people hurting throughout this city, and we need to come together peacefully and as one community. She says that the curfew is going to be in effect until she declares it's over. Live in Raleigh, Bridget Chapman, CBS 17 News. Bridget, thank you. And a reminder, all Wake County parks are closing early tonight because of the curfew. Visitors will need to leave before the parks close at 7 tonight, two hours before they usually do. They're scheduled to open in the morning at normal time.